We are the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. We house two majors, Electrical Engineering and Computer Engineering. I like to describe it as though they're on a spectrum. So if you imagine hardware, all the physical components, that sort of is in the realm of electrical engineering. And that deals a lot with design. A lot of people can go into communications, signal processing, and that sort of deals with sending out data and how do I capture that and quantify it. As you go further along the spectrum, on the other end is actually computer science, which is another department in the Granger College of Engineering. So that would be software, where you're doing straight programming. A lot of it is very math intensive and theory involved. But computer engineering is sort of in between the two in the spectrum. So they focus on computer architecture. They do a lot of programming and take CS courses. But they also have a really strong foundation in the physics and the hardware side of things as well. Computer engineering lies within that spectrum between electrical engineering and computer science. They do programming. Everyone in engineering will do programming at some point, and there is definitely an emphasis on it in the curriculum. However, what they really focus on is computer architecture and systems design. So they have the applied mathematics and physics background built up from the electrical engineering courses and the required courses they take in the first two years. But then as they move forward, they, as they move forward, they use more and more programming to implement system level design and computer architecture to solve modern day problems. One thing is that I actually applied uh, mechanical engineering for all of the other schools and the only school that I didn't apply for mechanical engineering is uh, U of I. And eventually I choose here because uh, it turns out that mechanical engineering is uh, fun to do and um, but I think uh, you can learn by practice uh, but in U of I, uh, as I'm in computer engineering, computer engineering is pretty hard and we have great teacher and resource here so that um, I can learn more. I chose ECE because during my sophomore year I took both a physics course and uh, a computer science course during high school and I really liked that the ECE department would allow me to foster like my math and science skills but then also allow me to explore programming. I think all of our students are fantastic, but um, I wouldn't say because we're on the spectrum, there is a defining moment between the two because they're on the spectrum of the field. I would say more as a family of electrical and computer engineering students, what makes them unique is the drive to get through a lot of these classes. It's a very rigorous program, but the commitment and interest they have into whether it's per uh, improving society through technological advances or improving the hardware to better people's lives. Just a lot of collaborative work. So a lot of them can cross over. The curriculum is designed to be very flexible. So no matter what your major, you can take more hardware or software classes. I would say it's more common for computer engineers to go into software development now, especially with the really big topics nowadays with artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, that's definitely where industry is leaning towards. But engineering is a very strong discipline and so I always consider electrical almost a little bit more broad. So there a lot of people go into project management or they may decide to be a hardware designer or a circuit analysis. Um, but no matter what major, you don't have to stay in the technical field either. A lot of people move on to take administrative roles or business roles like CEOs of companies, C TOs of companies or decide to go into academia and teach. We have a vast amount of resources and opportunities available to just our students, our home students, but also the college offers a lot as well. In terms of resources, we have free tutoring just for ECE students for a lot of the classes they take, especially during their first two years, but it does go into the junior level coursework as well. And that organization that offers that free tutoring and academic support also does a lot in terms of honors programs. That one is called Ada Kappa Nu, HKN. I'm in SAC, which is the Student Advancement Committee of the ECE department. Um, basically, we're like the student government for the department. We just help with uh, interfacing students with staff and creating a more uh, tight-knit group and community among the students. 
They have uh, a huge, huge job fair just for engineering students, but we also house one directly in our own atrium, and it's just for ECE and computer science students. So through that, it happens every single semester, and they can communicate in a more casual setting directly with recruiters. A lot of times, we're actually alumni of our program, so they know when you're talking about a specific class or project, it's a lot easier to connect about that. In addition, right in our atrium as well, especially at the beginning of every semester, there's a lot of companies that literally sit and they're wearing their company t-shirts or polos and they, they want to talk to you, they want to ask about what you're doing and a number of students come back saying, you know, I got an interview the very next day, the next couple days. When you walk around the career fair, you talk to any recruiters, a lot of them come to our department on Wednesdays to recruit as well and talk about their companies. They are always asking for ECE students. For prep students, I would definitely recommend that they talk to their prep advisors and an ECE advisor to come talk to us because we can help talk to them about their interests, seeing how it aligns with ECE, and give course recommendations along the way so that they can be a strong candidate for transfer. My advice would be to explore as many options as possible while you're still in high school. Even when you're in college, it's really hard to know if this one major is the perfect fit for you, and that's perfectly okay. It's very normal. So if you know that you're interested in ECE, come give us a visit. Check out the websites. You can see a number of projects our students are currently doing and seeing if you could envision yourself here. You might even want to stop by campus and talk to us. We have a number of students that are always happy to talk to you and a number of events that you can attend as well to get a facilities tour. I think the qualities that they have, it spans across all engineering majors too. So the number one being problem solving. As an engineer, you're always going to be designing and forward thinking. But specific to ECE as well, I think is how strong the sense of community and family is. So you're working in collaborative spaces, not just with ECE students, maybe with others, but even within the major, you're taking into consideration, how do I develop really strong technical communication skills? How do I become involved with research, for example? And um, how do I present myself professionally? And how do I, um, how am I able to express myself and my creativity through the work that I do? The EC department brings together some of like the most motivated and brilliant people and so I think leveraging the people around you, whether that be going to office hours or forming study groups or getting involved in the community through RSOs is a really great way uh, to find the support system that you need in EC. There's a number of resources and opportunities on campus for students. It spans academic. Uh, resources, so if you need help with classes or free tutoring, social aspects, so you can meet other ECE students, as well as, as well as other methods of support. There's one specific just for women in ECE as well. One organization that I'm really involved in is the Society of Women Engineers, and specifically I'm on the committee for Team Tech, so we work with a corporate sponsor throughout the year, and then we present at the National Conference in Anaheim, California, and so this year we worked on adaptive technology with John Deere uh, for their compact tractors, which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> All of the different clubs on campus, whether they're doing a technical project or they're just getting to know other people, they're very close-knit families. 